Scientific study of Vedas, creation of universe, starting from Brahma. Class 16. Devas and demons. As per Veda, Devas means God. And Asuras means demon. As per Veda, all things are created in duels. That means, if there is good, there is bad. If there is electron, there is proton. If there is God, there is demon. But this God and demon are with different, entirely different opposite qualities. Demons are, uh, the gods are, or devas are those which supports creation or supports any type of positive action. At the time of creation, there is opposition also, that is from the side of demons. To overcome that opposition, gods are acting or devas are acting. So, devas are those forces or things that support the creative activity. But gods are not or devas are not Ishwar. Ishwar is that is that is supreme power. That is before creation there is only one single thing that is Brahma. So Brahma is Ishwar. That you do, will not interfere in your day to day activities. That is neutral. Ishwar is neutral and that is only one thing which was present before starting creation and these devas are created after starting this creation. The important quality of these devas are they support our activity. If we are doing any activity, they will support us. They will help us. That is required for our living. For example, Without air, we, can, we cannot live. Without uh, water, we cannot live. Without sun, we cannot live. So, all such things are devas. So, as per Veda, everything in this universe is useful to us. What are things that is useful to us? That is devas. If there is an opposition, that is demons. That is the classification. We are using every, almost everything, directly or indirectly. For example, even waste are now using. They are recycling to produce some other things, new things. Bio waste is used for as fertilizer for plants or for preparing biogas etc. So everything, if we, anything is using for our uh, goodness, we will call it as devas. It will support us. For example, if we cook food, acne, water are helping us to prepare the food. So those things are devas. But both uh, Devas and uh, Asuras are required. Both are required. Devas and Demons are required because if one is action, the other one is reaction. While standing on the surface of the earth, we are uh, applying force in the downward direction. Our weight is acting downwards. That is create that is Deva, that can be taken as Deva, but the earth is opposing it in the upward direction, that reaction, that is Asura or Demon. So two forces are acting in opposite direction, so we will stand steady. So that is Sartoguna, steady state, that is Newton first law of motion. The force we are applying in the downward direction is creative force and the, that is 
newton second law and the uh, reaction is called a uh, demon that is newton's third law every action there is equal and opposite reaction so due to the action of these two opposite forces that is deva and asura deva or daman it an equilibrium stage will be reached so that we can stand on the ground if there is no opposition we will go deep into the earth so that is required so both are required without uh, deva and asura both we cannot survive that we can see later so deva means everything in this universe is deva and what all things we are using it or what are things uh, are supporting us for create our creative activity such things are called uh, this devas as per veda so we are using almost all the things directly or indirectly or are acting as devas but at this the at the same time sometime it will it will become it will oppose us also then it will be called as asura if we are using a stone to throw a dog it is helping us so it can be taken as deva that stone is deva if somebody is throwing stone at us then that stone is asura likewise we decide whether it is deva or asura or demon based on whether it is helpful helping us or whether it is opposing us now let us go to some vedic suktas and see what it says for example in rigveda 3 sukta 1 of sukta 56 Let us see what it says. Rigvedam, Mandalam Muna, Suktam Anpatiyaral Onna. Rishi Prajabida, Devada Vishwe Devanmar, Chandas Krishnupo. Nata Minandi Maino, Nathira Vrda Devanam, Pratham Adhruvani, Narodasi Adruha Vedya Vir, Na Parvada. it says devas and asuras or demons are formed at the time of creation of devas at the time of creation of devas this asuras also come out so it will dwell in nature creation is dwell in nature and it says this god should help us to overcome the difficulties that created by the asura or demons that means asuras are those which create hindrances opposition or anything like that in our action and gods are those which supports our activity to overcome this opposition of demons now let us go to another sutta in yajurveda chapter 34 sutta 29 yajurvedam adhyayam 34 mantram 29 rishi kutsaha devada ashvinav chandaha virat trishtup swaraha ഫേസിംഗ് <laughs> or opposition or anything like that if we face any opposition or uh, anything like against us any force acting against our activity deva will help us 
So, Deva is the thing or force or anything like that which help us or to overcome such opposition or hindrances. It also says it gives us strength and energy. So, what all things we, which gives us strength and energy that is Devas. So, energy, water is Deva, air is Deva, sun is Deva because water without the sun, water or energy we cannot live. Now, let us go to another Sutta. Rigveda Mandal 1, 2 of Sutta 122. Rigveda Mandal 1, Sutta 122. Rishi Kachi Van, Devada Visha Devagal, Chandasa Panti Trishtu. Patniva Purva Hudim, Vavrudatwa, Ushasa Nekta Puruda, Vidane, Stadir Nakam, Vudam Vasana, Sudhis Yasriya, Sudrishi Hiranei. When husband calls, wife comes quickly. Likewise, it asks Devas to come quickly to our working place or workplace where we are performing any work and instructs us to help us in completing the work successfully. For example, for cooking food we require fire that is Deva. Water is required to make it soft. Rice, to make rice soft, water is required. So, water is Deva. Indran also comes there. Indran is the force which acts in any action and it helps us to complete the process. Indran is the force which acts in the working place and completes our activity. That is a technical term Indra that we can see later. So, Indra also comes, Varuna also comes. These are some technical terms that we can see later. What is Indra, what is Varuna, etc. So, is it instructs, this Sutta instructs every God to come there to help us in our activity and complete to complete it in a good manner. Now let us go to Rigveda Mandal 1, 14 of Sukta 122. Rigveda Mandala 1, Sukta 122.14 Hiranyakarnam manigrivam amarnas tannu vishve varivasyandu devaha Aryogira sadhyasa ajak mushiro srashtagunda uhayeshu asme it tells Deva, Deva should give us good children and also good ornaments and prosperity to our family. How it is taking place? If you do any uh, duty, if you do any business or anything like that, this God will come and help us. At the same time, we are so, uh, using certain materials to do uh, some job. For example, using iron, we can make a gate, grill, etc. And we can sold it at higher prices. If there is gold, we can convert it into different uh, ornaments and sell it at very high prices. Likewise, we can become rich. In all these activities, gold is involving, or iron is involving, or energy, electricity is involving. All these are gods or devas. So they are helping us. Without the, those support, we cannot uh, become rich. 
or we cannot gain any anything due to our karma by doing any activity or business or anything like that without such things it is impossible so materials are required to do work if we want to start a uh agricultural activity we want land we want water we want a uh, seed everything is required these are uh, deva devas all these things are devas with the support of this converting these materials into another thing or cultivating uh, using agriculture new technologies agriculture technologies using different types of machineries we can make more profit like that so these machineries are got energy is got that science also is got we are using new technology by using new technology we can produce more product and we can make more profit so all these and science technology water minerals materials seeds machinery everything is god because they are supporting us as per our definition what all things supports us in our activity they are called gods now let us go to Rigveda Mandal 2, Sukta 3 of 29. Rigveda Mandal 2, Sukta 29. Rishi Grihamadano Kurma Mano Devada Vishadevanma Chandasa Trishtupu Kimunu Pa Kranavam Aparena Kimsane Navasava Apiena Yoyamno Mitra Varuna Adidecha Sosti Indra Marudo Dathata Mitra Varuna Adidi Indran Marutukal etc. Gods which supports us in our activities. That we can see later because these are Varuna is related with the certain chemic, chemical reactions. In chemistry these terms Varuna comes in chemistry. All chemical reactions are taking place with the support of this Varuna factor that we can see later. This Marutukal is the related with the structure of the universe. It is responsible for rain. So such things we can see later. All these are gods or Devadas. Marutukal, Indran. Indran is the force which helps us in all our activities. Now let us go to Rigveda Mandal 5, 2 of Sukta 51. Rigveda Mandal 5, Sukta 51, 2. Rishi Sastya Trayan, Devada Vishya Devagal. Chandas Gayatri Ushniga Irda Thidaya Agada Satya Dharmano Advaram Agne Pibada Jihoya These devas come to us to help us in our working place and it helps us to complete our job properly and for our advantages. All the material that we are using is devas and all the supporting things like electricity, water etc. such things are devas. So without devas we cannot do any activity. So with their support we can prosper. We can do our duty. We can make money. Now let us go to Rigveda Mandal 6, 
11 of Sukta 50. Gedam, Mandalam Ara, Suktam, Anbadil, Padinun, Rishi, Rijishwava, Devada, Bahu Devanma, Chandasa, Trishtub, Teno, Rayo, Dimado, Bajavado, Dadaro, Pudat, Nevrada, Purushoho, Deshasyando, Divya, Partiva, So, Gojada, Apia, Mralada, Chadeva. It says devas are giving us children. How devas are giving us children? Because children are forming, a child is forming due to the combination of egg and sperm. There are different types of forms, uh, sperms in it, thousands with the different qualities. But a child is forming by the combination of this egg and a particular sperm which is decided by the Paramatma that is the plan of this universe based on this everything is taking place as per this plan that Paramatma a child is required at a particular time to do some particular activity. At a particular time, if that Paramatma requires a child or a person with a good knowledge, with big, uh, very good uh, body strength etc., it should produce such a child for doing that activity. So, the child should possess that quality. That is possible by selecting the proper sperm from the from this and combining with the egg. So, that Paramatma gets a proper child at the proper time, at the right place, so that in future he will do those jobs which are assigned to him. So, these activities are taking place with the help of Indra. Indra is selecting the proper sperm and joining with this egg. That means Indra is the driving force. It selects that particular sperm and drive is to combine with the egg to form the required child as per the requirement of this Paramatma. At the same time, we also get a child. But it decides when it should be formed from where it should be formed and from whose child it should be formed, whether it is with us or, or with the, another person. So everything is decided by the Paramatma through Indra. That is why it says, give us good child, children, son, Vasukkad and Rudran all are acting in the involved in this activity to give us good child. That means in this activity all these gods are involved in Sun, Vasukkal and Rudra etc. So in general gods are such things. It may be material or a driving force or anything like that which supports our activity. So we should depend on these devas for achieving our objective to complete our work properly.